Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video we will have a look at the Columbia River Knife and Tool Combat Stripping Tool, the CST. The item comes in the typical Columbia River Knife and Tool box. Uh, for once it's made in Taiwan and not China. Uh, inside we have the Combat Stripping Tool and its sheet. So we have Actually, this blade protector directly on the blade there as it comes right out of the box. We have the Cordura sheet. In front we have a pocket Velcro with a spare blade. Those blades are feather cut stainless steel so you can get spares of those blades too it's exchangeable of course you can resharpen it as well so you we have two blades with it on the back side we have the usual mole style strap so typical affair then we have a one piece polymer design of the knife and its handle we have here that that protector, I took that off and put it in here on the spare blade so it won't get lost and the knife is ready. So, as we see, the blade is facing upward, so we have here a good protector, we have the, a good grip here with those two finger grooves. It has quite a bit texturing on it, lanyard hole. At the end it's a bit wedge for, wedged uh, shaped so it's it's uh, more pointy there. Then we have centimeters on this side, on that side as well. We have here in the middle the hole for the O2 wrench. So you can use it as a wrench. Of course you should be careful about the blade as you use it as a wrench. Uh, that is how that is. Then we have these two parts here. Basically they hold the replaceable replaceable blade in place. You slide that forward. You take it out. There you have then the blade. You can take that out. Put the new one in. Resharp. Whatever you want to wanna do. Then the part here going to go over those two parts and then slide backwards and then it's locked in place. Uh, how sturdy that is is hard to say but uh, remember this is only for uh, cutting uh, pants, say say the, the legs of the pants, closing uh, sleeves from the from the jacket and things like that so it's not for skinning bears or dinosaurs or something like that so that should work pretty well the front one is rounded off that is really important so yeah all in all that works pretty well so the design is from Kelly Rodriguez she is or was member of the US military and they uh, had to use uh, relative often the typical first aid uh, scissors with that scissoring motion as a female she had problems uh, getting through the thicker closing military closing with with the typical first aid uh, scissors so uh, she did think there must be a a way to get quicker to the uh, damage the body parts uh, time as always by first aid is essential you need to get the closing out of the way so that you actually see where the damage is so that you can work on on uh, the damage so scissors did apparently not work too well for her also the sometimes the trouble is that the quality of those first aid scissors made in uh, China are not too great at all so she came up with that design here uh, the, I would say it has two drawbacks. Uh, first, there are not too much uh, videos or information how to actually use it or use it correct. 
and uh, second the whole item is black the sheet is black so by the one that I use that I did prepare I got it a bit more orange so I use electrical grade tape in orange on the handle and on the sheet so uh, once the item is in the sheet we see which side uh, is the handle and all that also if the, the item would be on the ground like that or or uh, I just laid uh, the knife on the on the ground we have there quite some orange that you act that we actually uh, see it of course you could put something as a lanyard uh, in it as well if if I desired I wanted to have something directly on the grip so it's a bit easier for me to uh, see and to use that is one point then the other point as I said there are not much videos how to actually use the thing so I need to make a bit space here and we actually gonna use this one here and of course I don't have a real leg or something so we gonna pretend this piece of wood is the leg or the arm doesn't matter and this clear wrap is the sleeve either by the arm or by the leg it doesn't matter uh, I wanted to use a clear plastic that we see how it actually should work so with the typical scissors the first eight scissors uh, they are rounded off in front so you would go in and start scissoring all the way through how far you gonna go and how fast you can go and all that so that's the, the typical design with the combat stripping tool it's more like a skinning or gutting uh, motion so we have the item going in and then basically just get dragged upwards zipping through the through the material here usually if you have it in motion it just zips through of course and uh, what we also should look is that we don't touch the body parts even as the item is rounded off uh, we may have a bleeding we may have holes that the, the item would get stuck as we push through so we always should be away from the body parts have the thing all the way up now it doesn't matter is it cutting upwards or if you have to cut towards the side but important is that we don't that we don't uh, touch the, the body parts with with the knife if possible uh, we don't want to have more more uh, damage or uh, on the on the body parts of course also we want to avoid the item getting as as a uh, dirty as or, or uh, bloody as as uh, possible so always as we go in we should be away from the body and then basically just zip through like I just showed and then the item is open and ready for first aid so that's basically how that works instead of the, the scissoring motion where we have just about two inches of of a cutting per cut we can go way faster way quicker in a zip uh, through with this with this tool here so that is for sure a great idea and a, a great design uh, if it's used correct you know you can't uh, use it downwards you, you need to go upwards away or sideways that always works uh, because that item looks a bit like a knife I mean it is a knife uh, we have to consider also the people that are in need of our help they are in stress they are quite likely hurt uh, they bleed they 
are uh, in pain, you know. So, uh, if possible, whenever possible, we should have somebody talking with them and blocking the view on the problem zone or or where we actually do the cutting so that the people don't see the knife or the scissor I would suggest that they don't see oh I'm hurting already and, and bleeding and I'm full of pain and now somebody comes with a with a knife they, they don't see what that is exactly they just see oh it's a knife uh, I don't want to get hurt more than I'm already and they may uh, yeah struggle and have even more stress and create more problems for you so it's always best to block off the view from those people from those victims hopefully with with uh, another uh, helper while you can do the correct cutting so that the the fabric the pants and all that is removed so that you can uh, move on with further helping those uh, poor people with the bleeding or whatever uh, happened there so that that's the last point uh, all in all build quality I would say is really nice uh, I'm not aware that much of this style is for sale or on the market uh, this design is a little bit older uh, maybe five five or more years old and the suggested retail in USA is around $30 uh, that is quite a bit and with the lack of videos and and the demonstration how to correct use it uh, unfortunately that did not sell too well I hope I could change that a bit and uh, currently if you look around and uh, quite likely I'm gonna post a link in the description uh, there is a deal going on so that you can get that item for less than five dollars plus shipping um, don't get any money from that or I, I not even oh, know the, the selling company I just saw that online and, and I think it's a great idea for additional uh, item in your first aid kit uh, the scissor has its place of course too that is easy to get but uh, for less than five dollars uh, that item especially with the with the orange on it uh, that that should be a uh, hard to beat so that much about the combat stripping tool from kelly rodriguez the cst